After several weather-related delays, the world's largest helium balloon was launched from a military base in Hawaii to test a saucer-like device called the Low Density Supersonic Decelerator. The LDSD is designed to investigate and test breakthrough technologies for landing robotic and human missions on Mars and safely returning large payloads to Earth. This new technology is required um, to land five metric tons for human missions, maybe 30 and beyond metric tons to the surface. Um, so the parachute we're using today can improve uh, pre-performance land and mass by 100 to 200 percent. And that's really critical for not only future enhanced robotic missions, uh, but human exploration of Mars. Scientists say the thin atmosphere around Mars requires especially strong parachutes for landing heavy and fast-moving spacecraft. As we started thinking about the next generation of more capable, more exciting, more bold missions to Mars, we started realizing that we didn't have the technologies in place to land them. Uh, and we had to start today to start developing those technologies. Things like inflatable drag devices that we can inflate at several times the speed of sound. The balloon tested Monday was 30 meters in diameter. A flying saucer it was carrying weighed more than 3,000 kilograms, about twice the weight of the kind of robotic rover spacecraft NASA can currently land on Mars. Late Monday, a NASA spokeswoman said the test failed when the balloon deployed but did not inflate. A similar test in June of last year suffered the same fate. Sladica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.